All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're looking at uh, code.org's uh, Unit 3, Lesson 6, uh, random numbers. We're really looking at the practice activities, and in this one, we're looking at the modify the scene. So currently, when we run this, you have mountains, and you have a sun, you have grass. And if you notice on the right here, what we want to do is kind of have the mountains move around as well as the sun change its location. And right now, when we reload it, it just stays the same. And this is a perfect use of random numbers, obviously great activity for this. Um, when it says do this, you can click on these instructions. Basically, we want to randomize the exposition of the sun, and we want to randomize the exposition of the mountains. And if we click on this, find the ellipse block that represents the sun. Well, here's yellow, and here's the ellipse, so this is going to be the sun. And they even give you comments here to help you with that. And we're changing the random number for the x-coordinate of the ellipse. And then we also want to do that for the mountains, just the x-coordinates. If you start changing the y-coordinates, they're not going to stay on the ground here. They're going to move up and down, and we don't want that. Now, if you notice, the sun actually does move up and down. So for myself, I'm going to change the x position. I'm also going to change the y position just to kind of allow them to change a little bit. But I'm going to keep the y position coordinates in a much tighter area so it only moves a little bit. All right, so we're going to need to go here to math and drag out some random numbers. And let's go ahead. We want to really make this along. Uh, if you look at the grid, you know, if I run this, we want the sun to probably stay kind of right around here and just kind of have it move. Okay, so we're going to change we want it to go from here all the way over to here for the X position. So let's go ahead and make this, um, let's make it 30 to 370. So that'll be kind of quite a ways over here. Actually, it's more over maybe even 20. Looks like it's quite a ways over. And then we'll do 380 then. Go almost all the way over to the side. And if we run this, there you go. It's kind of moving along. And let's go ahead and add another random number, though, for the y position, because we're just kind of, even though it doesn't mention this, it might be a nice thing. You can kind of see how it is varying its y position. So let's keep that to like 20. And yeah, maybe it looks like 80. 80 might be a little bit too low, but that's okay. Should be fine. If I wanted to, I could make it go up a little bit higher as well. Maybe 20. That'll keep a nice high in the sky there. Yeah. There. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to move the mountains. Same idea. But this, we're just going to change the X position for these. And then we would just want to... One thing you want to keep track of is where they're currently located. So we don't want to just randomly pick a number here. We want to make sure that we kind of look at the numbers and make sure that they're pretty close to relevant. So if this is 100 right now, what we probably want to do is keep it between 50 on each side of that. Just so that it doesn't move a lot. Otherwise, you could end up having all of your mountains kind of stacked over. So let's go ahead and we'll do 50 to 150 since it was 100 and then we got a 300 one here so let's drag this one out oops this one right here and that was 300 so let's do 250 and 350 and then we're going to do the same with this one again it's 200 so let's randomize this a little bit more so they're not all kind of just staying let's do this one 100 to 300 since it was 200. This one's 10. So let's do, now just doing 5 to 15 is not going to change this very much, but let's do like 5 to 50. And we'll do one more here. This one's 390. So this one obviously we're not going to change the 390 at all and, and on the high end. And then let's make this 300. So these will keep them in the general area of the X position, and the Y positions obviously are not changing. And we're not going to change the color at all of the, the grass here, the ground. There. Perfect. Each time you run it, the mountains kind of move a little bit. Change location. Very nice. 
So this is random numbers, just a really useful tool in programming. It allows you to vary your program. So every time you know this scene loads, the mountains are moved a little bit. And the random numbers allow us to do that because it will randomly pick between these numbers and place them in there. Really useful. All right, hopefully that helps you, and good luck with your coding.